What's up guys, quick video here showing you how to, uh, in case you got some uh, revisions or changes to a file, how to get in and, and load your new, whether it's uh, line work, surface, or TP3, kind of the best practices on how to do that, uh, moving calibrations around and so forth. Just kind of a little overview of that. Uh, I've had some questions recently on guys getting revisions and stuff and best way to get them in there. So lots of different ways to do this. This is my opinion. Uh, what I've seen works best. So I'm running through a couple things. So let's say this, this project had some revisions of some elevations, changed quite a bit of stuff. So, you know, what I recommend on this is creating a new TP3, but what I will show you is if you just wanted to put a new surface in here, you can come in here to surface, you can do import export, and we have this option here. We can do a uh, surface file, which would be a TN3, uh, TP3 or land XML. So, what will happen there is if we bring in a new surface, we'll actually create a new surface in our surface list here. Um, so that's one option. If you just want to bring in just a surface, you can do the same thing with line work. You can bring it in with an LN3, an AutoCAD, or an XML file. Um, this works good if the guy who is utilizing this knows what he's doing and understands the difference between the data sets. Uh, like I said, I usually try to stay away from this, especially on machines, just because what I've seen is if there's multiple surfaces, you can move around between them, but I've seen guys also get on the wrong one and create some problems unnecessarily. So if we were going to add our new project, there's a couple different ways to do it. We could come into data and control, and we could actually save our GC3 file, which is our calibration. So we could save it to a GC3 file and save it on a data collector and then copy it into the other one. Well, I'm going to show you, I think it's the easiest way. So if we go, well, there's two different ways. You go project. So we'll go to our project list. If I go new, it's going to allow me to name the project file and then copy the calibration off the previous file that I was on. So I want to use the same localization off that previous file. So I could do that, I could create a new project and then I could import my new project file is one way to do it. So if we can just do that real quick, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll just, we're not gonna use these. I've already got them files, but T hanger, so use the same localization. So it comes in there. I would almost always obviously date and label things. Um, so now we could come in we could import from a TP3 file, which should be on here. Oh, it's on the D drive here. It's 426.21. So now we have our new line work and with our same calibration. So that's one way you can do it. Um, another way you could do it is you could do it in Office 3D by saving that um, GC3 file. Or you could come back to, let me go back to the existing, this is the original project. So we're back on our original project. Um, another way you could do it is you could just go project, go to our list we could just copy the new project onto there. But see, you'll see when we put this in here, see we don't have any control in there. Um, I should have copied my GC3 first, but now we can just, I would have done this before I should have done it, but you can swap back now. So we got our new project in there. I can actually just go to control uh, import export to GC3 file. I actually do this a lot just to have the GC3s kind of handy. You can save them right here. You can put them in your uh, um, three DMC folder, or you can just drop them. You can create your own folder with all the GC3s if you want. So seven points export successfully. So like I said, I made this a few more button pushes than it needs to be, but. So now when we're back on this project. If we have our GC3, all we have to do is go to control, import export from a GC3 file, and then just go to our documents where we saved it at. Now we got our points in there. 
So yeah, I've just seen this a lot where guys don't understand you can move that around and we end up relocalizing and doing silly stuff. So a couple different ways you can move that around. Like I said, to each their own. Uh, I just found that creating a new project file with the revision date on there tends to work better than uh, just adding the services and stuff because it eliminates some possibility for error. Thanks.